nice frosty morning we are going to be hopping all over this town today knocking on doors but it's early too early to be knocking on doors so we're going to hit this old church we have pulled uh, quite a few coins out of here a couple buffaloes uh, a couple silver dimes wheaties got a 1933 walking liberty out of here so it's been an awesome spot we do have permission and uh we're gonna kill a couple hours here and then go start knocking on some doors a 1955 Good thing about a 55 is that could be a double die and a very expensive coin. Well, not sure what this is. It was coming in around a uh, penny. But it does have some kind of engraving on the front. It says M and M. Never seen one. Um, look like it fastened to something. Anybody ever seen one of these? Uh, shoot us a comment. I've never seen one. Straight across the road over there, I see that big blue Victorian. It was built in 1880. Gorgeous palm trees all the way around it. We just got permission to dig that spot. And the little house next to it there. That house looks a little newer, but the lot is old. So, uh, all right, we're gonna give her a shot. We're at this big old uh, blue Victorian. Built in 1880. Uh, first target, Wheat Penny. Definitely been in the ground a while. Alright, got another Weedy. Same year as the last one, 1957. A lot of Weedies out of this yard. Doggies are not liking me either. But that is a 1929. Cool, that's uh, that's number three so far. It's about the size of a half dollar, but it's a lot thinner. I have no clue. Wouldn't that be awesome if it was a large cent? That would be a bucket lister for me. Tell you what, I'll clean this up and we'll uh, post some pictures later. Got a 42 Weedy. Really hard to see a date on it. But I'll clean it up later and uh, shoot you a little picture of it. We just spent about an hour or so over at the uh, the Blue Victorian right behind me. Uh, we ended up finding, I think, four Wheaties, three, four Wheaties out of there. Got a feeling it had been hit. Uh, but we've been knocking on these doors and uh, we do have permission to hit this place here. Which uh, looks like it's got a newer house on it. But at one time this would have been an old Victorian too. I just hit a barber what looks like a barber so we're gonna let chad do the little foo-foo on her 1905 i already got a 1905 last yes, year didn't you i yeah excellent yeah one dime on the back sweet we're finally into some good coinage a little padlock A lot of stuff's been coming out of this yard, nothing too great. We did get a 1905 Barber out of it so far. Uh, but Chad just called me over, and I'm not sure what this is, but it looks like some big silver. Who's the baby? I don't know. What it looks like, it looks like almost like a little wagon wheel on the back. That's it, yeah. It's, it's some kind of like aluminum kids toy or something, I'm saying. I have no idea. I don't know. Let's check her out. Fun taker. See what you oh, think. it's definitely aluminum. See, Just don't have the weight to oh, be anything else. Oh, man, in the hole, she looked beautiful. 1492. I'm pretty sure they didn't have aluminum back then, no, Chad. No, that's, it's uh, <laughs> 1492. It's Columbus. It's Columbus, that's yeah, right. That's Probably sailed, some kind of Columbus when he sailed thing. the ocean blue in 1492. That's right, right there. Columbus around the back. He yeah. does know his history. Well, Chad's been doing a little cleaning here, and uh, it says 1492 to 1892. It says World's Fair Souvenir. And the back says Compliments of Columbus Buggies. Columbus, Ohio, USA. That's pretty cool, man. I like that. That's an awesome find, Chad. Yeah, yeah. Anyone knows what it is, let us know. Yeah, anybody that knows uh, anything about this can, uh, you know, shoot us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. We are across the street now. I tell you, people around here are so nice. 
we just got permission to dig this old house right behind me uh, built in 1888 I know these lots this is a central red bluff and these lots date into the 1860s 50s even into the 40s so it's possible we could find some really good old stuff that was a bear to find that wheat peaty right there gave me hell it's a 1941 and I think the problem I was having is I had this iron circular button I don't know what it is but man I just could not find that this is really cool that right there is a Chinese coin Chinese were all over this town back in the day um, and that is in really good shape I found quite a few of these over my days of metal detecting but uh, I like finding these these are cool some of these can date back to the 1700s and even before that so loving it ah. it's getting late we've been at this all day long um, this yard didn't turn up too much a bunch of relics some old iron uh, tons of nails in here really hard to uh, find anything in this ground but we're gonna wrap it up uh, we got some good stuff today got an 05 barber got a few relics and uh, of course Chad got his uh, state fair token we did look it up it is definitely an 1892 uh, world's fair so it's been an awesome day we had a lot of fun hope you enjoyed it 